want to show you simply on how to free neck choke from the ground. Just stay tuned and enjoy this. Uh, let me remind our, those of us that are watching us for the very first time, please do subscribe and hit the bell. Alright, this is how it goes. <coughs> now, free lock, choke the neck. Okay, free. <coughs> your first step about anything that comes to your throat choking, if you if you do not hold your breath when that lock comes in, it will disorganize you and you will not be able to calculate and know what to do at that point. No matter how choking it is, you will not feel that choke unless you try to breathe. So the moment you hold your breath, you will not feel the choke. Now let's check for example, lock. If you look at my face at that time, you feel tension on my face. You can see the tension on my face for you to know that I'm actually choking. But why I can relax is because I felt my face. So no matter how you're choking it, I can, I can hold it as long as I can sustain my breath. I can hold it. It is only when I can no longer sustain my breath that I will now start feeling the effect of your choke. Okay, now let's see an example again. It's actually pressing and choking. But I relaxed because I held my breath. Okay, now I have tried to show you ways for you to really understand that how it works. Now, free lock, choke the neck. Yeah. This time, turn him for that. Bring the leg, bring the and lock. Ah. Ah. Now, now you are locking both the right again the and and the head, and you can push it further. <laughs> you can hear him yelling. It, it throws him totally off balance, makes him helpless. But that way, you have so many things to do to him. If you want to push his head by that way, while locking, push him, pull the head down further from your leg lock, you will land the head down. And of course, he won't fail to dislocate the arm too. Alright? So let's just take it once more, so that you have to get a better view. Right, good. Turn and turn, and then bring this there, okay? and bring this there, okay? and lock. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. That is what happens. If he tries to resist, he's in danger. If he tries to resist, That's one. Once I do this, the hand is up. And the next thing is, I still grab because I'm down. I don't need to. If you free the hand, you're still helpless. You know. So you lock there. You lock there and strike here. Pam. You go. Now when he goes, there you still hold his hand. When he hold his hand, he will tumble back. He will tumble. Pam. Goes there, and you can see follow him up by. As he tumbles and you hold the hand, you tumble along. But if you don't do that, you hold the hand, strike here, and free the hand, and take your pull. Okay, come back again. Let's see that. <coughs> Locks two. That's one. And I strike two, and then I free and point. My free this hand and point. It's ever way. And I can pull myself out from the Okay, let's check the other angle this way on the same choke. All right, 
that's one and I strike there and I release for this sponge or this side, whichever side home there and this sponge is as hard as anything and it's going straight to the solar here uh, so you cannot take this sponge and still stand and you're out Everything still goes on the same basis. Just you hold your breath and you try to sustain your breath. As long as you sustain your breath, you will not feel that. Now you can see this. I free. Why it has the effect is because of where I mount the pressure on it. Automatically, he locks lock again. Ah! Okay, now from here, he's helpless, there's nothing he can do. Okay, okay, I can frame off from here. See by my strike. Here. <laughs> the grab I just did is not an ordinary grab. That is why he's feeling it. Now come bend down. Let me show. Bend down. The grab goes from here. It's a lock here. Okay. Now you can see. You can see his reaction. See his reaction. So the moment you take that lock here automatically if it connects straight to his spine which all interconnect with the muscles he's using to take his choke here so once you do this it will affect him he has to follow down so that to try to look for a way to avert the pressure on him he will try to come down and that's exactly what you want you want him to come down and he's coming down and he's coming down and at the end of the day you take your action all right, let's take that thing. Of course, the moment you have brought him low to this position, he cannot hold on the choke anymore. So what he's trying to do now is to look for a way to free himself, to support himself by looking for a way to hold the floor to support himself while still in pain here because he's in pain with this lock here uh -huh. okay all right <sighs> take let's take the other view to have a clearer view of it all right Now, I try to be, <coughs> I try to be a little bit light. Look, actually, that's how it looks as you go. But of course, okay. Right. All right, now let's take some more. All right, let's let's have another form of it. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now as you can see, the same procedure. You need to hold your breath. Now if you check the position, now put it lightly, you know, and lightly. Now if you see the position of the hand now, it's the comfortable way for him to actually succeed, to do the choke well. So if you discomfort him this way, the choke will not be good enough again. It will no longer be choking. It will just hang. Okay, now choke. As you see, you can see this now. I can talk freely. 
because I have discomforted him from taking the actual choke which should be by clamping the hands together. And this does not come soft like I did. It goes with force. Ah! That is how it goes. Then alongside as I do this one, I go here, I open it, and I push him off. Okay. All right, let's take that again. Okay. Where do you feel the 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 clamp? Yes. yes. All right. Is that that sudden clamp striking that gives that effect? But actually, you want to achieve that so that you need to make the hand weak. By while doing that, the hand will weak and the lock, the choke will be weak. Okay, let's see that again. <laughs> see that? Open and push. Watch again. That's one. I go, I open here and take note of where the strike opening comes from. The knee. There. And I <coughs> let's see another move. This is going to be very exciting. Funny may, may look funny, but it's very exciting and uh, devastating too. Okay, let's go down to action. Take the choke. Okay, as you can see, it's still the same procedure. Take your breath, seize your breath, and allow him to do his thing. And then while you plan of what to do, and go. Now, as you can see this, that's the first thing. Take it again. Now, you've succeeded to lock him. <laughs> now, if you watch this, you see this hand, this one is locking, you're using this one to lock his elbow, the elbow of this one, which can, can end up in this location, see, to push for that. Okay, now from here, he's helpless, and you want to, okay, you want to throw him off so that he gets off the ground. You can push him from there, far with the cross, and that's what happens, he goes. But, be, 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 be very careful if you trust that kick hard enough and you do not free the hand immediately he will crush his head at the same time as he hits the head on the ground he crushes it so if you take this power free the hand so that he will have something to support himself down that is if you want to be friendly but if you don't want to be friendly lock him that same way trust him up and see hold him down he will break the head, scatter the head on the ground, crush him, crush the head down. Okay, we are going to pause here for today. We will come your way next time for more exciting actions like this. Stay tuned and uh, be prepared for us. If you are watching us for the very first time, please do subscribe and hit the bell as we get your comments. For our already subscribers, we appreciate it.